Hello and welcome to The Developer Show. This is your TLDR. Today we're open sourcing three new hash function implementations. Faster data parallel versions of SIPHash, a fast cryptographically strong pseudo random function, and the entirely new highway hash, which reaches even higher speeds thanks to the data parallel features of modern computers. Check out the post for more info and the GitHub link. Learn how to build your own recommendation engine using machine learning on Google Compute Engine with this post from the Google Cloud Platform team. Want to know why your application is slow? Cloud Trace for Google Cloud Platform can help. Today, we're adding more features and functionality, including automatic tracing and performance analysis for all App Engine projects and latency shift detection. As always, the post has more. Add-ons run inside Google Sheets, Docs, and Forms. Check out this post for five simple design tips to help make your add-on a pleasure to use. And don't worry if you're not an artist, these are basic concepts that anyone can apply. Optimizing retention before investing in acquisition and retaining users with step-by-step -step engagement are concepts that come from the world of games. Learn how you can use these tips and insights from successful game developers in your app with this post from Google Play. We've redesigned our Developer Program Policy Center to communicate our policies with greater transparency and clarity. From making it easier to self-correct minor violations in minutes using the App Publishing Status feature, to improving our policy communication, the new Policy Center is part of our ongoing effort to improve the developer experience. We recently invited Mobile World Congress attendees into the National Art Museum of Catalonia with Project Tango developer kits loaded with Guidego, a museum tour app, and Glimpse, a location sharing app, to experience augmented reality and indoor navigation for themselves. And it was really cool. Check out the post for more details and a video of the experience. Whitfield Diffie and Martin E. Hellman have won the 2015 ACM Turing Award, commonly known as the Nobel Prize of Computing. Their 1976 paper entitled New Directions in Cryptography introduced public key encryption, which is a foundational technology for the commercial World Wide Web. That's your TLDR for this week. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for developer show interviews, ask dev show responses, and more. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next time. Hey, remember when I was at the International Women's Day event a couple weeks ago? It was awesome. Here's another interview and a link to check out more events and ways to get involved with women tech makers.